Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, you'll have to forgive me, my voice is a little croaky this morning. So last summer, um, what I did was I basically con married my scrapbook stuff. A lot of you might know this, but um, some of you, if you're new since then, probably don't know. So I went through almost everything that I own scrapbook wise and I got rid of I purged a lot at least five huge boxes full of stuff that I've had forever and I love it if you have any questions um, for me about it because I know a lot of people have really struggled with purging and stuff um, you know you have that guilt of buying stuff and you you know you spent money on it you want to use it right so that's how I felt with a lot of things um, I watched um, Lindsay the Frugal Crafter. She has a couple KonMari videos, and that's kind of what got me into it. I know there's another lady that everybody's watching, I think, on Netflix or something right now. Um, I don't know her name. I have not watched her videos, but I, I just watched Lindsay the Frugal Crafter's videos, and she basically said, you know, you hold the item, and if it doesn't spark joy, you don't keep it. And if you're feeling guilty, then, you know, if you're struggling with whether or not to keep it, um, there's questions you ask yourself, like, if I got rid of it, what's the worst thing that could happen if I got rid of it? Well, you know, the worst thing that could happen is you have to go buy a new one, you know, but really, if you don't love it in the first place, then you probably won't want to buy a new one. Um, but then you also ask, do I have something else to use that would do the same thing so I even got rid of a few punches because I have the Cricut now and if I wanted I didn't get rid of a lot of punches just a few of them that I had had for you know years you know at least 10 years and never used once and I realized you know there's metal dies now that I have that take up so much less room there's the Cricut that I have that I could always use and then there was one more question um I can't remember the last question but it, you know, there's this KonMari and cleaning, and I have to tell you, I've done it with my house too, and I love it. Um, I'm, you know, still got a lot more to do with my house, but it's it's really makes cleaning the house easier. And I still have a lot of scrapbook junk. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, but I but I love what I have more than um, I did before. And so this is a good example, and I wanted to talk. That's why I'm talking about this. So what I have here is like a mini kit. And I wish that I would have recorded them. Um, I didn't really think people would be that interested, but now watching other people's YouTube videos, I think that you pro probably would have, would have enjoyed it more than I thought. But I had a lot of kits that were either half used or scrapbook, scraptastic, was it scraptastic? Man, I can't even remember the name of that kit club anymore. I think it was scraptastic kit club kits that I had that I hadn't didn't really feel inspired by that I'd had for a a long long time um, I broke those down I broke them all down into small kits so this is a great example I had this um, I bought this Echo Park anything goes collection and to be honest I don't have no idea why I used to be a horrible shopper that's another thing I will say about doing this whole KonMari and and freeing yourself of this stuff I shop better so there's a lot I used to like impulse shop every oh I saw this oh it looks really cool I'm gonna use it I'm gonna buy it you know now I realize I need to think about it just a little bit what would I really use it for am I buying it because I'm absolutely in love with it or just because I think it it's got great colors I mean why why am I buying it and do I really 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 love that kit you know um, there's even a couple close to my heart ones this uh, last catalog release that I was so close to buying like a bunch of times but I'm like do I really like that kit do I really love that kit and I'm like I don't know if I really do I think that I just I want to buy it um, same thing with a lot of um, simple stories releases from this year I bought a few papers that I really liked and maybe like a sticker sheet but I didn't buy everything that would go with it you know all the collection pack and the stickers and the chipboard and the other stickers and the ephemera pieces and all that stuff and so it's made my shopping so much better and not only with scrapbook stuff but other things in stores I've noticed my impulse shopping is has improved 
tons and I love it. And I was actually just looking, I think I'm gonna pull these down to use with this collection. I just saw these white paper clips in here. I have some, um, you know, these are the mini Tim Holtz ones and then these are from, these are from Felicity Jane and they're kinda the bigger paper clip. I just saw the white ones and I thought they might go cute with this. So I'll just put a couple here. Anyways, sorry, kind of got off track there a little bit, but I saw those and didn't want to forget. Anyways, um, now I forget what I was saying though. How, um, so I've become a better shopper with a lot of things and I'm better at impulse shopping. You know, I'll even put things in my cart and walk around the entire store. And then, you know, when I, before I check out, I will look at the stuff again and be like, do I really need this? Do I really want this? And a lot of times I, there's been times when I've walked out with nothing, you know, so, um, <clears throat> so what I did was I went through almost every, okay, I didn't go through, actually I did, I did go through every collection that I had, even my doodlebug ones. I was going to say I didn't really do my doodlebug ones, but, um, I didn't do the doodlebug ones that are like, say the Christmas packs that I have or something like that, um, because I knew that I loved all those and I had a lot of layouts that I could make with those. So I, I didn't touch those, but this is a good example. So this anything goes, but Echo Park, I love it. Nothing wrong with it. It just kind of wasn't, I loved it when I first saw it and then I got it and I thought, you know, I'm just not that crazy about it. Um, the colors are very pretty, but it's just not 100% me. Um, there is a lot. So what I did was I went through, I had already made, I think two layouts with it in the past and I went through what is left and that's why it's a bunch of scraps kind of here. I think this was a full page. Um, yeah, that's a full 12 by 12 still. And it's got that on that side. But what I thought was, I'm going to make a mini kit out of what I do love from this kit and the rest of that kit I got rid of. I got rid of all the stickers and I wish I would have saved it again and shown you guys, um, but I didn't. So my plan is, here's what I have. So I saved out, I liked this camera pattern paper. I thought it could be either a big piece or I could cut out some of the cameras. Um, this side's, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, I have, you know, stripes are pretty uh, you know, common, so no big deal, but this was a piece. It's got some cards on this side. I mean, it's just like this flamingo piece is probably something I would never really use. I don't really care for this too much. Um, I don't really care for that, but I know I, I love this blue, the blue stripe. I know I will use that definitely. And then there was this, um, polka dot. I know I will use that. And here's some, some more cut aparts if I wanted to. So, and I thought those go, would go really good together. And then I'll pull over a white because more than likely I'll use some kind of white background. And so these are the papers that I liked from it and kept from it and the rest of the papers, which there wasn't a ton because I had already done a couple layouts with it, but this is what I liked from the kit. So this is what I kept. And then there was also this um, four by six card again, I kept this. Now I did do all of this before I realized, um, before I had my idea to cut things down to use in my daily life albums. But again, I still, when I'm cutting things down, if I don't like something, I'm not gonna keep it. And then on the sticker sheet that was there, and I thought I had another kit that I had made, but I guess I didn't. There was one little enamel shape that I hadn't used yet and a couple stickers that you can see the little tiny, um, flowers and arrows. And then there was this camera sticker. So I cut off the pieces that I knew that I would use or the stickers. And I got rid of the rest because the rest to me, I, I just didn't like them. They were not me at all. There's a lot of these little tiny ones that will go great in different clusters, a bunch of flowers. And then even from the brads. So I'm pretty sure that the brads, um, I must have used them up or put them somewhere else. I'm not exactly sure. Either that or I just they were ugly. I cannot remember. But I had these three from the Brad sheet, so I put them in here. I thought that I had made up another page kit with this same collection, but I've looked three times and I haven't found it. So if I did, I have no idea where it is. So um, 
but I thought there was an alphabet, but oh well. So then um, just now you saw me pull in these white paper clips. So that's going to go with it. So basically what I did last summer was I did that with everything. And then I even found a couple pictures. So my husband took my kids to the dollar store years ago and they just kind of had fun playing. It was just kind of a boring day. It was when my other, my youngest was a baby and, um, yeah, so they just kind of had fun playing that day and went to the dollar store and wasted money, you know. <laughs> dollar store stuff doesn't last that long. But so that's what I did is I put together all these paper, all these little mini kits from what I wanted and got rid of what I didn't like that was causing me to not want to use the mini kits. And I have a bunch. I have two, about two of the, you know, the Calax or Expedite cubbies that I have in here. Um, I will, I'm still doing the room tour. Pl I'm planning to do that. I might get to it today. I might not. Um, but two of those full of just these mini kits. So I would put them in these, you know, zip like ba Ziploc bags like I like to do. And they are ready to go. I'll, some of them have pictures. Some of them don't. And so that is my goal for this year is not to get all of them used up, but I'm hoping to at least get half of them to maybe empty out one of those cubbies. So this is going to be one of my series, and I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet, but I just wanted to explain to you what what this was, where it came from, and I will talk, before I do each of these little mini kits, I plan to show you what I kept, what collection it came from, what I kept from it, um, and all of that stuff. So I just wanted to show you that. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. I know it's really hard to get rid of stuff once you've purchased it, but it's so freeing, let me tell you. And you become a better shopper, so you actually save money in the long run. So, um, yeah. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, let's get to scrapping this layout. All right. All right, so now it is on to the layout process. So I was super excited. I did this layout. It went really quick because a lot of the papers were in scraps, so I kept some of them the same, like this one, I'm just gonna trim down a little bit so that it doesn't span the full 12 by 12 section. And the rest of it goes really quick and easy, I think. So I'm very excited. Doing this layout made me even more excited to get in and do the rest of the layouts that I have made into little mini kits. And the other thing, when I was just watching and editing the video just now, um, from the beginning part of this video, I decided when I pulled in the white paper clips, I'm only going to end up using one on this layout, but I still decided it would be fun for each one of these layout mini kits that I have to add in something from my stash. So for every video that I do, I said I would talk and kind of show you what I have from whatever collection it is. And then I will pull in something from my stash. It can be like a multiple item that I have lots of like wood veneer arrows, or it can be just one heart sticker from somewhere. Um, I'm not gonna leave any limitations on anything. I just wanted to, I just got excited about that because not only will that use up this mini kit stash that I have, but that will start using up some of my other stash in with it. I am not very good about making mini kits that aren't from a collect from collections. Um, basically all these mini kits that I have are, they start with a collection somehow, so they coordinate. I can do it and I've done it in the past, but I don't feel inspired to use those. I hope that makes sense. Although some of them I think might be ones that I made and it was years ago, maybe six years ago or so, I don't know. I sat down with a whole bunch of papers, put papers together, and I added in a ton of embellishments that coordinated, but I still have so many of those sitting on my shelf and I just don't feel inspired. I, so that's where I struggle. I'm just not good. I, I definitely love to use collection kits. Um, we all scrapbook differently and that's just how I scrapbook. So, But like I said, I ordered some Simple Story stuff, but not a ton. So, but you know, just like a few pieces of the pattern paper or some stickers to go with it instead of ordering everything to go with it. So that'll be kind of fun because I will be able to pull in some of my stash a little bit more to go with those that I can do. If I start out with like a good starting point, then I, then I feel a little more inspired to use it. Whereas all these ones, 
they've just been sitting there and I'm super happy to get these used up. So you can see I just basically trimmed down a, those two pattern papers. Um, the one was a full 12 by 12, but I trimmed it to be a, um, it's, I don't know what the size is. I didn't measure it. I just knew that I wanted it about, I don't know, I gosh, looking at that seven inches or so maybe. Um, so I trimmed it down and then I just trimmed that polka dotted paper down just a little tiny bit because I wanted it to not span the full 12 inches. And then I added a piece of washi tape along the left hand side, which I am no good at using washi tape. Although Janet from RTS Scrapbooking lately has been talking about how she takes her washi tape and puts it on 12 by 12 cardstock and then cuts it into strips. And I have been doing that lately. I've just started, I've only done like three pieces, but I love that. It makes me rethink washi in a whole new way. And it makes me wish that maybe I wouldn't have gotten rid of all my washi because I literally have purged almost every roll of washi. I kept a few rolls to use as like, you know, tape. Instead of scotch tape, I use it tape, you know, like a lot of us do. But I wish that all those rolls of washi, I, I would have made a couple strips with it on the 12 by 12 cardstock so I'd have some border stickers. But it is what it is, right? So I mentioned before that these are pictures that my of my husband took my kids to the dollar store. Um, I don't remember what was going on that day. I think he was just trying to get him out of the house and give me a little peace and quiet or something like that. Um, I have these stickers that I've been getting used up quite a bit. I've used them quite a few times this year. Um, and I really like that. They're kind of the black ones with the white scribbly outlined look to them. And I was going to do the whole title with those letters, but I didn't have the S or I think it was another O maybe. And I probably could have, these ones are a little hard, harder to kind of make your own letters because of the way the white scribbling is on the inside. So I decided, uh, yeah, that won't hurt anything. I'll just grab another sticker. And these are some super old stickers, the word that I used, um, the letters that I used to make the word store. They're just, I mean, they're, I want to say they're maybe even creative memories or something from forever ago that I got off a free table or something. So I'm going to go ahead and put my title down. And of course, these are thickers and they're chipboard. So I'm going to add extra adhesive to them. And my title is going to say Dollar Store Fun. And it's kind of a little weird looking, I think, but it kind of goes along with the playfulness of this layout. So I'm okay with it in the end. The only, I'm not super crazy about the word store because I feel like it's like pops a little more than the other two words but it's okay I'm okay with that so also from that thicker sheet there was if you can see on the left hand side of the layout both below and above the photo above the photo is like the geotag there was one of those on that um, thickers same font and everything is the thickers and then down below where in this cluster I'm working here I just pushed them off the page was a couple little star like asterisk things so I brought those out to kind of bring help bring the black from the font or all around the page so I'm going to put those things in those clusters and that camera I really wanted to use I thought it was pretty cute it does go with the layout it's just kind of fun and funky but I wanted to tuck it in behind the left side over here and it was a little too big so I just cut it and you can see the other piece here kind of still sitting on the layout there and um, I really like how it turned out down there and I popped up that little saying uh, um, with some foam tape there and then this owl sticker I kind of tucked in uh, it doesn't really go but it's just kind of a fun and playful element for the page and so I decided to go ahead and add that on there like I said not everything has to be matchy matchy I do tend to match my layouts quite a bit but I don't feel like everything has to be. So I'm just kind of going over the stickers that are left. Um, you, you can see these are the only ones I kept. I really like that heart, but it said best friends. And I just didn't, that didn't go with this layout at all. I, yeah, my kids didn't get along for a while as most brothers and sisters don't. So, um, there was that one epoxy circle that I mentioned in the beginning. There was actually another one that was stuck to the back of one of those sticker sheets. So I put just one of those, one in the top 
left cluster and one in the cluster on the right hand side. And then if you can tell, I took that other cut apart piece of that camera and I just tucked it behind the title square over on the right hand side. And so it's just a little camera peeking out. It kind of gives a little more interest over there too. So I would say, don't be afraid to cut up your embellishments. Um, I did have a commenter, um, a subscriber comment on one of my videos that she st is still struggling with the cluster part. So I thought that made me inspired to do, I'm going to do a video that kind of shows, it's going to be real time, so it's going to be a longer video, but it's going to show how I do my clusters and what I'm thinking about when I'm doing my clusters. And hopefully it will help. I've seen a few comments on Facebook too lately about people struggling with clusters. So I thought I might as well. Um, so let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you about clusters that you really struggle with. So um, I'm not sure if you can tell up here in this left cluster I, is where I got that white paper clip. It's just right below the owl. And now I'm just going to, I got a new pokey tool because my other thing that I was using to poke holes was just not going to work at all anymore. It was kind of getting, yeah, a little bit out of whack. So I decided I should probably purchase something a little better. And this one's a lot sharper and so it works a lot better. Here I'm trying to add another one of those paper clips, but it just doesn't look right to me, so I don't end up adding that on there. Um, but I believe this is pretty much going to be the rest of my layout, other than I am going to take a smaller, finer tipped pin, and I'm going to add a few lines, and then I'm going to take a thicker pin, and I'm going to do the journaling. I like to do it that way so that it helps the journaling stand out just a little more. So here is a couple of photos and I hope you like this video. Please leave me a comment below and hit the like button and I will see you guys next time. All right, thanks for watching, bye.